Hey guys, welcome back to our second video. This is part 2 of us building our own dining nook bench thingy. So if you've not watched the first part, click the link on the top right to be sent to our first video. Without further ado, -do, hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, so guys, this is the latest that we have done. So far right now, we have done the full foundation of the bench. We've actually laid out like the covers that goes in front of the bench and just testing to see the wires. I've been running them for like we've been running them for like how many hours now? Two? Two hours right around there, right? Eh? Uh, and they still have not short circuited. They have not burned down like things. So it looks pretty good. This skating. So this plank here. We'll go at the top. Cover all the ugly stuff. And we'll be painting over all of this, so don't worry. And they they all get a fresh new paint of coat. This skating as well goes right in the middle and here, same thing. We we'll cover up all the lines, the ugly lines that you see right now. Like this, that, that. Yeah. Uh, we'll come back to you and probably the next day. Next day, we'll work on it on the early morning. Mm. Yeah. So, with that note, thanks guys. Peace. Peace. So at this point, my job was essentially I had to make holes in the board so that the wall plugs can actually be uh, fitted onto the boards while my brother and my mom on the other hand, they're working on the, the skating of the bench and they're trying to make it look pretty, making sure that all the holes are covered up so that we don't get an ugly looking bench that has like holes in the middle, you know and yeah, we'll move on to the next scene After we got the main framework of the bench done, we moved on to lacquering the bench to give it a nice brown stain finish to the wood. At first, we wanted to paint the top and the skating brown, and the middle areas we were gonna leave it peachish. But we decided midway that giving the whole bench one solid color would actually give it a classier finish, so we decided to paint everything brown. Tell us down below, do you think we made the right call painting everything brown? We don't know. So, you decide. <laughs> Now back to your regularly scheduled program. So we just got done cutting all the planks to the proper length and we watched a video on YouTube on how to make a tabletop and essentially it goes on to say that you need to make holes in between one another then fill the holes up with glue and stick wood plugs into them so that they get joined together very well. We did everything right but somehow everything still turned out to be a disaster. Uh, what can we expect right? Since all the holes were misaligned, we had to come up with another way to DIY our tabletop. So we just glued each pieces to one another and let it sit overnight. It got really messy and we sort of panicked that it wouldn't work out. But continue watching to find out. Since we couldn't get everything to be one solid plank, we just placed all the planks atop our current table 
and basically glue the planks and the table together. As an added measure, we nailed them into the table too, just to feel a little more secure, you know? And note guys, if we didn't have our old table, this definitely wouldn't be possible. So make sure you all know what you're doing before trying to attempt to make your own table. We're, we're on day 10, I Day 5,000. So, really messed up part, okay? Let me tell you guys the story. We basically wasted one whole day yesterday. We got all the holes down. We drove all the holes. Then we redrew some of the holes. And then guess what? It don't it fit. fit. <laughs> it don't fit. So now we're just gonna nail them to one another and then we'll call it a day. Okay, not a day. Like we're gonna put it on the table, then we're gonna send it, and then we're gonna bring it in, then we're gonna assemble it, then we're gonna call it a day. Right. Then we're easy, done. Easy, easy. Easy. Hey, so right now, I've already done the sides. Adrian, can you move? Yeah. So now the sides, both sides are like equally aligned. Okay, maybe not 100%, but like. Okay, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Okay, can you see that? Ooh, look at that. And then right now, Adrian is just basically um, sending the, the base so that it's even. As you can tell, like it's not level. You see that? You see that? You see that? I think you press it down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You press it down. Mm. And then we're gonna be nailing uh, the base onto the table inside because it's not gonna be possible to move it in once we've nailed this thing onto the table. So yeah, we're nearly there, Adrian. There you go. There you go. Almost. Woohoo! So we're approaching the final moments of the thing and the entire entire project and build and. Wow. What we gotta do? Get some pillows. One day, if you can hear me. One day, put some cushions on it. One day, put some cushions on it. Cushions, uh, some pillows on it. Make it a bit more comfy, maybe decorate the wall a little bit more. That, that painting is definitely staying up there. Eh? The last supper. Uh, yeah. Oh, one hell of a ride. It's been. It's day. Day what now? Eight hours. Day 10, eh? No? Day 10, no? what the hell? Oh, the project and Almost done, we're almost there, we're almost there. I'll see you all in the next one. So guys, that concludes our DIY dining nook area project. Yay! It's been a while, right? From finding out where to get the materials, to even figuring out electricity and brainstorming ideas, you know, to fix problems, you know, when certain spontaneous problem comes up. We had loads of fun doing this project, even though it was really tiring. Nonetheless, I hope we've either motivated you or encouraged you to go out there and do something that's been on your mind. Because we've been thinking about this project for probably around three years now and never actually had the time to actually start this one up. So I'm just really glad that we not only make this look beautiful, but also functional with the plugs and all around. It just feels really cozy in that area now. We do plan to put cushions on it one day, on the bench I mean, but that'll be later in the future. Once again, I cannot fret this enough. If you've learned even just a little bit from this video or have enjoyed it, please do click that like button because it helps us a ton 
since we're just trying to get into this YouTube game. And also, do click subscribe. We'll be posting more often, so do look out for them. Hope everyone has a great day, and this is Aaron and Adrian signing out. Peace.